Yeah, that's what I was supposed to do. Alright, alright. Should be all nice and set. <laughs> okay, okay. Sound is good. Everything is nice and dandy. Hello and welcome back to CCSU Varsity Esports. I'm your host today, Bubbles, and we are in the first match of playoffs. Playoffs! Oh, I am excited and nervous, but mainly excited. <laughs> today, we will be having a very, very, very fun stream. For today is the day we go absolutely insane and get some amazing wins. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the membrane. I want to quickly show off Gavin finally getting a skin. Big boy. What, what, what did he get? He got uh, one of the Overwatch skins. And now we're going to go spectate our lovely, lovely portable cash. And some more Lucio content. Getting out of there. There you go. Good escape. <laughs> it's not all right. It's like Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> it's only Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Alright. So, we lost first fight, but we're going to the white room to get a flank. Ooh, lots of damage coming from that Reaper. We were playing Dive and they were playing Brawl, but we get two. Oh, and oh, he got pushed off of the Rhine. Looks like to Gavin, getting a third, as he does. And a fourth? And a fourth. And that was a headshot, too. Oh. It has to be said, put it in the montage. Put it in the montage. He just does it again. There you go. Got the team back up. Gavin getting one. Garble getting another. Oh, but the enemy Ryan shatters. But... I love it, love your support, and uh, Darecax is using a cleanse, saving everyone. Ooh, Cash tries to go up, almost gets the Reaper. Very, very good. You gonna go for a boo? Oh, my ult's coming out. Oh, they use a Blossom and they use Kitsune. Alright. We got them to use two ults, but we still... Oh, wait, we use Kitsune. Ah, I see, I see. We're all grouped up again. See where Gavin's at. Respawn. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're going to go to the right side again. Oh, that little white room there. Oh! Armenium getting hit by the Kiriko. Oh, lots of damage, lots of damage. Yeah, that Winston, the, that Reinhardt does a lot of damage, especially to Winston. Cash getting out. Far away, big leap. I am flanking a little bit. A little bit of a flank. Gavin getting one. Oh, come on. Oh, they used B to save the Reaper. Ah. Oh, but Myranium gets one. Yeah. Just the Rhine and Lucio on point. Oh, but they're all oh, the team, their enemy team got back and they regrouped. We only have three seconds to touch point. Hopefully, someone can be in position. Oh, someone is. Nice, nice. Gavin touching point. And Myranium. Oh, they're using, they're using a lot of ults. Mm, we might have some coming up. Marinium on point. Oh, he has a pulse bomb. Maybe something big with this. Oh, he's, we, didn't, we didn't see the stick to the wall. We didn't see that. Alright, first round goes to Penn State. What's up? You changed the screen so it doesn't say winning soon, right? Uh... 
Did I not? <laughs> did I not? <laughs> I did I not? I thought the screen changes automatically. No, You're telling. <laughs> No! Hey. I thought the screen changed automatically when, when we clicked the game. So you're telling me the first <laughs> people were just looking? Yes, the first the first five minutes and 35. Uh, it's starting soon. Yes. I'm and I'm I'm being a gooster right now. You are. I'm you are. Absolute gooster. No. Yeah, yeah, I'm very sorry. All right, TP to point on already getting my radium. Yeah, the Rhine is deadly. The Rhine is deadly. You might need to swap to rush. The Rhine is deadly. Also, uh, sorry for not changing the screens. Well, uh, I was, you were excited. I was, I, <laughs> I was excited. Playoffs are is big, so I. Playoffs are big times, big things. We are... It's not, it's not easy being the king. <laughs> it is not easy being... Oh, but we got the Reinhardt. Garble got the Lucio. And he gets the Kiriko as well. Going in, getting point. Marvanium on the Tracer. But Gavin gets the kill. And we cap point. There we go. Healing each other up. Healing each other up. Let's go spectate some more cash. Oh, they're pushing up. Speeding back to point. Oh, the Rhine charges in. Oh, and there's some extra teleport, but we destroy it. Ah, oh, but Gavin, ooh. Gavin gets hit killed by the Rhine as he shatters. And he tries to throw cash off, but he lives. Uranium on point fighting the Symmetra. He's fighting three people, I believe. Oh, but... Oh, the, oh, the Pulse Bomb. Oh, no, not the Pulse Bomb. Oh, the Pulse Bomb. <laughs> he stuck the wall. All right, all right. Back up, grouped up. Let's get some more Myranium. There we go. Give me that turn. Let people push up. Gavin getting two. Is that a collateral? Double headshot? Oh, but they're making two. Gavin using overclock. Gets one. Oh. Wait, he got two. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. He got two in one shot. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's so cool. And he gets a headshot right after. Almost getting the kill, though. Gavin once again proving why we call him Big Boss Gavin. Honestly, he's just he's just good at it. Yeah, oh, the two collapse. That's definitely going to the montage. Enemy team is teleporting to point. <laughs> Gavin, come on. Ah, oh, so many. Garble goes down. Oh, Gavin's walled off. Gonna get a kill though. Ah oh, no. We made good percent though on the point. Very good percent. If we win one more fight, we should be able to take this map. Or this round. Oh yeah, too much damage. Oh Cash almost getting killed when the May walled him off. That wall is dangerous, can stop you from escaping. All right, let's get into the fight. Let's see, Iranium going for point. Oh, ooh, that's a lot of turrets there. Laser beaming them. We gotta go to point now. Iranium with the Pulse Bomb getting the Reinhardt. This is it, this is it. Oh, dropping the beat. We're using ults, they're using ults. There you go, Iranium on point, trying to get kills. Use those little dual pistols. There you go. Gets one. Going for the Lucio. Slippery gets two. Go gets the May. Ah, he helped get the May. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. We hold for 25 seconds and 
We should be able to. Let's see what else we have. We have an, uh, another overclock from Gavin. Which, of course, you want to see. You want to see the... <laughs> you want to see more Gavin clips. For the montage when it comes out. We could always use more. Oh. They use B. Gavin using overclock. And, and... Oh, he gets one. Oh, he dodges a shatter. Oh, and the Ryan didn't push him off either. Go, going in. Uh-oh. Come on, get those supports, Gavin. Yeah, there we go. Oh, dodging Reinhardt charge and getting the Lucio. Oh, it's just him on point. Can you hold it until someone else can get back? Oh! It's just... It's just the Reinhardt. Oh, the Pulse Bomb! Get, getting the Reinhardt! He's fought, look, my is fighting the enemy Tracer. With the help of... Derekax. And then the carry goes back, and oh, there we go! Oh, very nice, very nice. CCSU takes the second round. Oh! <laughs> oh. Would you like to add any commentary? Our lovely, lovely coach, Dwayne. Um, well, I'm I'm not surprised <laughs> we're doing as well as, as, as we have. We've actually beaten them before. Um, I'm liking the way the team is playing. Like, you can't That's hear right. them, last semester you won. Yeah, absolutely. Last semester we we, we beat them. Yeah. Um, you know, and we've only improved since. Uh, you can you can we are we are very communicative, um, as opposed to uh last semester I feel like, you know, we sort of held back on being as loud as we possibly could and getting excited and really just, you know, working um that that aspect of the team um out in terms of just making sure that everybody is communicating effectively and we're not having side conversations and things of that nature i think it has worked in our favor being short concise and focusing on gameplay in gameplay is fine and then we can talk all the junk we want in between and then after you know because you know our our victory dance and our uh, you know our peacocking is you know you know far superior than any 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 team in this league regardless of, <laughs> of, of what their ranking is we you know we break our control was patting ourselves on the back sometimes, but uh, you know, at other times it's well deserved. <laughs> oh, that was a long fight, but <laughs> in the end, we got a reset. Reset. All right, we're doing. I believe we're doing rush right now, or is this brawl? No, this is brawl. We're doing a brawl comp right now into their brawl, which is good. It's gonna help us. One fight's a lot easier. Rushing in, getting good damage. Trying to get that Ryan first. Oh, but the enemy Ryan shatters. Oh, that's a lot of damage from their Junkrat. Resetting. Enemy team is pushing up a bit. Trying to keep us at the doorway. They don't want us to get in. Want to keep us? They're trying to keep us far away from point. We ain't gonna let that happen. We're pushing up, pushing in. Oh, there we go! Garbo with his shatter! We get three! Let's go! Lucio Gaming, going for the Baptiste! Yeah! Portable Cash gets the elimination. Way to go, Cash. Uh, I'm not gonna stop him as quickly as I did. I saw him going for it. <laughs> There we go, getting that Ryan. He's alone, he's alone. Get him, get him, yeah. Got him with a high noon. It's scary, but. <laughs> He'll probably build up another one by the time he needs it. We have three ults. We have. Freeze? Oh, and we're using it. Are we? How many are we freezing? Did we freeze anyone? Oh, they all got out of it. But now we use a window, keeping them at bay. You don't want them pushing that doorway. And we use a beat drop. That's all three. There's all the enemy trying to use a tire. Wall off the Rhine. Enemy team use beat. Oh! Our junk rat's deadly. I have to get out of there. Okay, okay. We got a bit more percent than they did on their first cap, so if we can, we should be able to capture when they get around 70 or 80%, giving us a nice little lead. 
the people a goodly good chance of taking the first map. I think Garbo is. Yeah, he's very close to having an Earth Shatter again. Let's go spectate that. Here another high noon. Is it ours? It's there. It's there. High noon. Marvanium gets one, but oh, they got one of ours as well. Garbo. Oh, he's trapped. He's trapped, and he has a shatter, but he doesn't need it. Get that Rhine. There we go. Stunning him. All right, all right. We got high noon, earth shatter. Ooh, two good ults that can work together well. They're always in need of a bit of healing. This might be the last fight. And Armenium's close to a blizzard as well. Very good for holding during a final fight. Going for earth shatter, he gets one! Oh, but he gets killed in the process. Oh, enemy Junkrat uses a tire. Or random uses Blizzard. Oh, freeze. Can he get a kill? Oh, he gets pushed away. Can they touch point, though? I don't think they can touch point. Oh, they didn't touch point. <laughs> oh, that was great. We just kept him in that room for a while. They couldn't touch. Oh. How do you really feel? I was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to tell when team is going to win. Because <laughs> both teams are good. Oh, right. their Ryan had a great shatter with that. I will say, both teams are very, very well, but we won the first round. Now, I do want to say this. I personally think we might beat them once again, but I don't want to get my, I don't want to, I don't want to jinx. I'm very, very excited and nervous. A lot of energy is flowing through my body today. A lot of feelings. <laughs> All the feelings? Maybe not all the feelings, because I'm not feeling sad. Well, that's good. But a lot of a lot of good feelings, positive vibes. Anyway, today's special guest star in the caster room is my mom. Hello. Hello, Hello. my mom. <laughs> is, that, is that her gamer tag? Yeah. Her gamer tag is my mom. Her name is my mom, and her gamer tag is my mom. Okay. The best. Anyway, you, you oh. are you are you enjoying being a part of the stream instead of watching from home? Yes, and it's nerving, it's nerve wracking. Because I can hear you announcing, but I can hear them over there shouting. And I'm like, I don't even know what room to be in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Obviously, this is the room to be in. Exactly. This is where all the cool kids hang out. It's so over there, too. I know. There's a lot of energy uh, on Varsity. Everyone's very excited. It's nice to be here live. Yes, yeah. it is. Without the three minute delay <laughs> of the stream. And I have to say, the announcer is fabulous. Oh well, thank you. I he gets he gets it from his mother. I can say that personally. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah. Would you like to help commentate as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Like when you're saying stuff, like I know you don't. <laughs> except for like when when you were like stunned, I was like, oh, I know because it says it on the screen. <laughs> it just definitely moves. Don't worry. I'll explain all the Overwatch lore in exactly one minute before the match starts. You ready? Go. But in one second, I said every single you said, thing. You said one minute. I know. I'm, I'll oh. pause. Wait. Why are they pause? What are you saying in the chat? Got to ask MB. I don't, I don't know. I'm confused. I, I don't know all of the tournament slang yet. Tournament slang? Yeah. The acronyms? Correct. Well, Apparently, yeah. people don't type out the whole word ready. They just type R. R. Yeah. I'm so used to typing out the whole word ready. <laughs> okay, I just want to point out that I knew that. You just every game one. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a lot of tournaments, more than I am. <laughs> That's how you know more. <laughs> You're experienced. We are we are spectating the wrong team. Uh Come on! I gotta go to my computer. I didn't watch it. I forgot that you haven't played any matches in this yet. Wait, tell them before they start. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. You didn't really explain it. You didn't really explain it. Yeah, but I don't know what he went to go do.
Can't miss it. Swap and bubble and see. We are still seeing the wrong POV. They did not swap our POV. So we're watching because they're, they're supposed to swap what? us. Yeah. <laughs> I think we paused it so they can change that. I don't want to see. There we go. <laughs> Yes, now we're watching our team, the boys. <laughs> the boys. The squad, there we go. There we go. Is there some way to project that outside, out, out on the TV? Uh, there is. Uh, time not now, but in between matches we can. We are currently in King's Row winning the first fight. Oh, I'm going to spectate Cash. I wanted to see that Lucio punch. Oh, there we go. Nice Lucio boot. Yeah, get the enemy Lucio. Lucio diff, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> they both escape. Alright, we were playing Brawl on King's Row. Lovely to see, lovely to see. And we can see only our team, correct? Yup, cycling through. Great. Garble has an Earth Shatter, gets two. Oh, break the lamp. Get that Reaper in May. Start swinging. Yeah, Garble gets one. He gets two. He gets three. Is that a team kill? No, they missed a Lucio. That's all right. Great stuff. Great stuff from the team. Everyone looking very, very stylish. I love the Minotaur Reinhardt. That was a very cool event that he got that from. Right, that Rhine's alone on the left side. Come on, wall off that Rhine. Yup, there we go, there we go. Aw. Oh. Blocking the shatter, great stuff from Garbo. Oh, and the blizzard from Iranium. Gotta break that lamp. There we go. Get that May. Yeah. Oh, he he went up the stairs <laughs> while charging. That's pretty cool. So we got some Lucio gameplay from Cash. Since we tend to spectate our tanks and DPS more than our support, give them some love. Give them some loves. We need more support clip for the montage. <laughs> Yavin already getting a pick on the enemy Baptiste and Derekax getting the Reinhardt. You're holding very well. Oh, Garbo's walled off. Help him out. Come on, Lucio. Yeah. Horrible cast coming in, saving the Reinhardt. We're pushing up, pushing up. Uh, are we about to use an ult? We're playing very far up. <laughs> Playing very close to them. Oh, we got out of their blizzard. Nice. Oh, the shatter! Garbo! You bad man! <laughs> oh my goodness. Garbo with the 4k. Oh, once again, put it in the montage. They just keep getting away with it, and I love it. <laughs> I'm loving it. Oh, it's it's so it's so great to just be hyped. <laughs> <laughs> they went to the Bastion. Bastion? They want Bastion. Okay, they're gonna try to break Garble's shield. Yup, that Reinhardt burning, or that Bastion burning through our Reinhardt shield. The charge, charging the Reinhardt. Getting some good swings in. Lots of damage, though. Lots of damage, lots of damage. I mean, Reinhardt has a shatter, I believe. I'm just guessing. Oh, the charge! Charging the Reinhardt. Ah! Oh, that Reinhardt. Oh, that... That bash and burn with Garbo, but we got you still have the level of a team. Come on. Maybe back. Oh, their Reinhardt shattered. Ah, I, I knew he had a shatter. What do we have? Oh, we have nothing. We can't. Oh, we can't sadly recontest. But that's all right. We got, we got rid of a lot of their time. So they're going to have like two minutes for the second point. Two minutes 30. Okay. And Garbo has a shatter. And our lovely Lucio speeding back, getting our team, giving a little taxi. This is peak Lucio gameplay. Walking very quickly. <laughs> Alright, we're all grouped up, we're all nice and ready. Let's go check out Gavin really quickly. Because we haven't we haven't showed much Gavin this stream. 
Oh, come on, Big. You can't leave Big Boss Gavin. Though. Exactly, right? Showed a little bit. Oh, Gavin already turns the corner and already gets the kill. Almost getting the Reinhardt, too. I think he might. Yeah, I'm going for the Reinhardt. Ooh, and immediately flicking to go get the Baptiste. Lots of good damage, lots of good damage, but Garbo cleaning up the enemy team. I think Brawl is our best thing. I feel like we should just keep running Brawl all the time. Because <laughs> we, we, we're very good at rushing in and just smacking people. Alright, I believe enemy Reinhardt might have a Shatter. Oh, use a window? Oh, Garbo gets one! Lots of damage, lots of damage. Nice save right there. Another fire strike to the window. He gets another one! Charging in. Oh, very, very dangerous. Watch out for that Bastion. Bastion can shred Reinhardt's shield very quickly. Garbo about to have another shatter, and if Garbo has one, that means that Reinhardt definitely has one. So both Reins have a shatter. The ultimate brink ankles of moves. Oh, oh no! Garbo shatter gets blocked and their shatter hits. Portable Cash trying to get everyone out, but has to escape on his own. The lone survivor. That's good. They only have 30 seconds in his second point. They're not only halfway through yet. We can definitely recontest. We don't have any ults to re Oh, we used. We used three ults. Ooh. Okay. That's all right, though. We take this corner. Maybe able to recontest. Especially besides, we have we have a Gavin and they don't. That's our, that's our big. Uh oh, uh oh. Enemy crew uses high noon. We gotta hide out from a second. Turn that corner. Stop stop the cap. Oh, Garbo, come on. Gavin gets one. Garbo stuns the tank. Starts swinging. Oh, there we go. Gavin gets two. Enemy Ryan shatters, but Garbo's gonna get him. Yeah, he does. Oh, nice. And he, it's just him. <laughs> oh, never mind. We're ready over there, too. <laughs> yeah. Love a little emo. All right. That was good. They didn't even get to second point. All right. All right. That's it. That's us. Huh? What? The red. Is that central? Uh, yes. No. Red? No. Get the one point. No, the one that's them. So they got them. Yes. So they captured the first point, which gave them the payload, mm -hmm. which is that big little cart you saw them running around. Mm -hmm. And if they got it, and if they got it to the second checkpoint, they would have had two points. But we stopped them before they got there. And so now all we need to do is get the same amount of points they did, and we win. Anyway, let's go check on the lovely, lovely chat. The stream chat is always great. Alright. Got, got people shouting out Wyranium, Gavin, of course. All hail the Among Us. Of course, all hail the Among Us. All hail the Among Us. It is great. Great, great, great. Also, I'm not sure if I can see the people or who's in chat right now see that we have eight people watching but hopefully we get uh, ho hopefully it's the people that are very big fans of our lovely lovely team <laughs> I mean, how can they not be i mean exactly right garble pushing through the hotel getting one already oh stunning the reinhardt oh He couldn't heal because of that anti. They have Ana and Baptiste for support, which is going to be very difficult. Because both of those healers are very, very good at keeping their entire team alive. Which means you may see a swap potentially from the supports. We got Baptiste still, and we have Lucio still. Okay. Lucio Gaming. Feeding in the team, going around the statue. That going in, walling them off. Gavin getting one. Oh, Myranium getting another. Oh, but the Junkrat gets Myranium. That's all right. We have more people. 
Oh, look at that. Garbo and Derekax pushing up while Cash caps the point. Oh, and he gets trapped by the Junkrat. Junkrat left the trap. We have, uh, we're going to have about five minutes. Hey, look at that. I know things. <laughs> you know things. It's good to know things. I agree, I agree. Not, not knowing things is what kill the dinosaurs. You know what? That's a fair point. Yeah, absolutely. If they knew about the meteor, they could have maybe made a rocket. But who knows? Who knows? Oh, the Junkrat gets Gavin. Oh, yeah, he was in a small building. Yeah, Junkrats like small buildings. Nowhere to really dodge their bombs at. Oh, and he gets Gavin, or Garble as well. Too, too many different Gs. <laughs> <laughs> two Gs, too many. Hey, man. I'd take two Gs over, over no Gs. <laughs> Let's go see, where is... There we go. Let's go more of my Uranium gaming. Oh, both teams use window! Okay. Uranium going in the back line, just... Oh, he just hopped over their Ryan and... Oh my goodness. Oh, what happened? I thought he was gonna get both of them. Oh, he's gonna get those two people. <laughs> But apparently not. We have, you should have a, yeah, we have three ults. High noon, maze freeze. Oh, and we have beat drop. We have four ults. That's a lot. We can definitely use two here and take a bunch of space. Ah, uh, charging, stunned, getting away. He has a shatter. He's trying to get past the Rhine. Oh, but the Rhine blocks it. There, Rhine has a shatter. Oh, and there, Hanzo uses the dragons. But we use beat drop. There's so many things happening. So exciting. There we go. Oh, the, their Junkrat died and got Lucia. <laughs> oh, they nano, they nano the Reinhardt. He might go for a shatter. No, he does not. He does not need it. Their Rhine is deadly. Uranium still has a freeze. Oh, I just realized what he could do. If he puts a wall behind them and then throws the freeze in the front, it could uh, stop them from escaping. You look get stuck in it. Mm. It's a good strategy. It's a great idea. I just had it. Now I can't. Like, now they'll never know. They'll never know. But oh, he threw the freeze. Ah. Oh, there's a junk rat. There we go. Portable cash getting the junk rat, Portable helping save the team. Cash. Oh, but nope. Too many of us died. We gotta back out. And he gets pinned. Enemy team holding very well. Oh, well. Gotta give them props. Give credit where credit is due. That's right. Always. We're gooping back up. I can hear them hyping themselves up for the plan. Window fire strike? Is that. What, oh! There we go. Taking that corner. Gavin going around trying to get the junk rat. The Junkrat getting getting our Rhine. There you go. Gavin gets one, but the rest of the team dies, sadly. Oh, how about 90 seconds by the time we get back? Mm. Hmm. What, what are we close so to? What are you thinking our options are right now, Bubbles? Well... well an option could be is going around and because the junk rat keeps staying up in that little window right up there. We we could go through that hall, go up there and like push him out. Mm. And if Garbo shoots, oh, but he's flank. Yeah, there we go. Flanking around. I'm going to say we, if we can flank on high ground, that would be good for us. But yeah, that, that junk rat up there, he's just free to do whatever. Gotta get rid of that junk rat up there. Somebody just said the same thing outside. <laughs> I'm here. I'm hearing very hype screams from our academy team. <laughs> Watch out for their shatter. Oh, they did it! And they use a tire as well. Oh, the tire got three of us. That's what we got wiped. 
Cha 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 cha. Oh, you got that. All right. Come on, come on. Oh. We're smart lads. The enemy team's gonna try to push up, stop us from getting close to touching the cart. They use dragons. They're trying to keep us away. Speeding in. Using the beat drop. Garbo gets trapped. He might get charged. But the one off the Rhine. Get the Rhine. Smack him. Big smacks. There we go. We, we got one. Garbo about to have a... Sh he's about to have an earth shatter. Break the ankles. Yo, he got two. Come on. Someone pushed up with that. No. There we go. Gavin. Oh, big boss. Gavin. Absolutely baller as always. Oh, Gavin. Baller as always. Putting it in the montage, using freeze, making space. They have a they have an enemy ball trying to touch. Push them off. Push them off. Yeah, there we go. Another win. <laughs> oh, great stuff. Look at that. Look at that team. Look at that pose. I'm gonna get to that upward. Which one? All of them. One? All of them. All of them. I think I can. I think I could wear them. Mm -hmm. I need to Look at that. Amazing play. Garbo with a 15 player kill streak. Okay. Yeah, yo. Garbo's, he's a good tank. He's a really good tank. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, man. Let's see what the chat is thinking. Nothing. We're just, they're still where it was before. <laughs> but That's all right. I will say once again. I was on the edge of my seat, nervous and excited. But in the end, we pulled through. Kirsten blew up the chat. Next map is going to be an escort, and I tend to be in for escorts sometimes. So I wonder what map it's going to be. If it's like Junkertown or Havana, I might be playing this match, which would be great because I do want to play. Huh? You just turn on the TV and then. Go on YouTube and... Oh, it's Junkertown! I believe I'm... I believe I'm in for this one. <laughs> Who's coming back, Mario? Uh, I believe so, yes. I'm gonna quickly ask. Uh, actually, I don't even know how we get up there. Yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> Hello, hello, wonderful ladies, gentlemen, and everyone else who happen to be joining us at home. I am Iridium in the booth here replacing Bubbles, who's going to be in for this map here on Junkertown. I am happy. We are ecstatic in that room tonight. The energy is high. The movement's doing great. Uh, we've been clutching up at the very end as of late. We have been very consistent on the early game, but that hopefully is going to change around now, especially with this first point being such a long, wide open area. This is going to be very dependent on this early game pressure. And that comes, first of all, out of the mystery of what picks are going to be on both teams. You get a general sense due to the map, but you don't know what's going to be going on. And especially with Bubbles more than likely playing Sojourn and Gavin more than likely playing Widow. As I anticipated, uh, we're going to be seeing quite a bit of range going into this first point. Uh, we do have, of course, a Zenyatta, which I'm going to be incredibly interested in. Portable Cash, known to be one of the legendary Zenyatta players, mini J. Jonak of, of uh, uh, support players these days. And I'm looking forward to seeing quite a bit of his POV during this one. So all y'all can look forward to that. Now, uh, Widow and everyone's going to be setting up high ground. The Sigma is going to be a massive front line, uh, especially holding to make sure that Gavin doesn't get headshot, as it will often be a Widow v. Widow or Widow v. Ash duel here on this first point, and I am excited to watch it. 
Uh, I believe as of recently, oh, he hasn't gotten the golden gun, but he does have quite a few credits saved up. So if at some point, hopefully during this season, you'll see it. Doesn't hit the first shot. Widow, is that a widow? I think it's here. What's what's going on here? What's what's this keyboard's massive? Uh, <laughs> Junkrat, yeah, it is a widow on the enemy team. The gun stuck on the screen, but it's okay. There's oof, massive loss there with Gavin. This Junkrat spamming shots down this front choke. The Widow going for those jump shots sitting on top of the repair garage. Unable to hit those shots, Cash pretty close, but no cigar. The only thing that matters when it comes to closeness is uh, horseshoes and hand grenades, but that's not what we're playing today, people. We're looking for these straight down shots, these chunky long fights, these stagnated ones, massive down this front line. Huge pink onto the enemy Sigma. This is going to force them to full reset here. If they aren't careful, they're going to be staggered out, and they got to make sure that no one goes down slower than anyone else here on the attacker's side. Everyone goes down. Widow on the right side, staggered slightly, slowly dying there, unable to fully regroup with their team in a quick manner or fashion. But that also means that they have a shorter reset period. And the defenders here, that attacker spawn being right there next to that cart is incredibly helpful for them. But Gavin doesn't matter to Gavin. It never mattered in the first place. He's already putting pressure in and he already just got back to the fight. Let's see a little bit of his point of view here. He's putting, being put under pressure by that junk rack and healed up by Cash here with that orb on him, trying to keep him up consistently. Looking for those discords. Bubbles, I feel like we're not seeing any of the action, but we're seeing it in the kill feed here, folks. Uh, Bubbles still sitting up on a high ground, I believe, here. Yep, sitting up on that right side. Cash on that left. He's got to watch his head here. Having such a, a small hitbox, yet being out in the open is never good. Sojourn with the high charge. Looking for the shot here. Can he land it? Doesn't go for it. Putting in massive pressure into this Winston here. They swapped over to a partial dive comp. Semi-split. They do have a little bit of shield break with that uh, Cassidy down there on bottom right. Huge uh, unfortunate loss with Bubbles there. Uh, looks like the majority of the enemy team is going pretty low here. Widow does get diffed. Gavin, unfortunate to see. The boost comes out. Garble managing to hold that front line. The lamp comes out to save him. Make sure he doesn't go down. They're look they still have window saved up during this fight. Two ultimates still set. Window prepped Cash here with the Transcendence, which he looks like he might pop during this fight. If it continues to go this heavily downward, the losses might be too extreme. Barely staying up. Cash hasn't pressed that ulti just yet. He hasn't needed to. He's managed to stay on that front line. He barely gets there in time. Garbo manages to stay up due to it, meaning that this Winston ult, this uh, Rampage from uh, the Monkey, doesn't manage to get any real value other than pushing people all around. He does go down finally in the end. Garbo manages to stay up. Despite the odds, the Cassidy will get staggered here. Will he? Will he die? Or will he survive the entire time? He's low. I think he lives. I think he lives due to the, uh, here you go on the enemy team. Widow's still sending these shots down this main front line. Gotta be careful watching your head here. As if you're standing down a long line of sight, you're definitely gonna be missing a dome. Looks like Widow playing on the left side. Gavin manages to dip just barely off screen. Caught slightly out of position, but it doesn't matter because he's able to grapple out to safety, still having that ability up. Holding this long angle, Bubble, man Bubble Smith gets the pick here, almost gets the Kiriko. Widow jumps onto Gavin, Gavin having a little bit of pressure on him, he's 1 HP. Bubble's here to clean it up. Wonderful to see, that'll be another team fight one. 30 seconds on the clock, 61 meters for the attacking side. This is a wonderful hold for CCSU here, and I'm hoping to see it continue just a bit longer. No massive swaps. From the attacker side, they're still keeping the Cassidy, they're still keeping the Widow. You can't afford to lose that Widow here on this first point. But I believe ultimates should be coming up. I'm expecting a window out of the attackers. Maybe a Winston all Kiriko forced to use Suzu early. Garbo still stays up half HP. Hopefully Bap can get a little bit more value, but he goes down to the high noon, popped on the attacking side. Huge picks from the Kiriko. It looks like this will be a lost fight for the defenders and a reset. Derek X stays up for a little bit longer than he should, but that's overtime, which is massive regardless of the fight loss. That means only one to two minutes put back up onto the clock for the second point, which isn't very much time. Unless they're, you know, speed demons going, they're going to be under some serious crunch time, some serious pressure here, and hopefully they know what they're doing, but we don't know. We don't know. All that we're looking to do here on the defending side, CCSU, all that we're looking to do is hold them for a long time. They aren't looking for any major fight wins. They're just looking for long time stalls. That's the name of the game here on these push maps. Even if they feel like they're the longest in the game, they are meant to feel that way and they're meant to be slow. It's really a war of attrition, if anything. The Winston trying to jump up onto the high ground. The Widow does manage to pick out Cash here, who isn't standing behind any major cover. 
Garbo being forced to use the uh, uh, Sigma Suck to keep everything at bay, but the Winston rampaging in the back line manages to catch out Gavin, who's unable to stay alive at this time. Garbo trying to hold a little bit of point pressure, but he goes down. Winston still throwing the shots around. The massive stick from the Cassidy folds this team fight on, here on the second point. Unable to fully regroup, CCSU is going to have to go to this third point, hoping for a little bit shorter of range's bubbles on that. Reaper here doesn't need to use Wraith, looking for this course, close quarters fight, trying to abuse those corners as much as possible on a character with chunky shotguns and short ranges. Cassidy tagged up half, unable to uh, get the full pick here, unfortunate for Gavin, but they are going to still have a little bit of space to work with. Looking like a Winston v. Winston, he doesn't have the health to be able to fight this. He does manage to stay up. Let's see for how much longer Transcendence forced. Let's see if they're able to hold a little bit closer here. Unable to get any massive picks on the defending side. Reaper trying to chunk out that enemy monkey. But he manages to get dropped on the high ground. Unable to hold that properly. They're probably going to be looking for a reset here. Ulti is no one currently up. Derek X setting up with a window soon. Bubbles almost has that death blossom. Can be quite useful as long as Suzu doesn't come out. But they are staggering really hard here on the defending side. Plenty of value being found, but there comes the Cassidy ult. And it's going to be yet another reset. Bubbles still going in, despite him being the last one left here on this defending side. Unable to get the TP, and he gets staggered here. Quite a bit of time on the clock. Minute 50, they're going to be looking for these quick swaps. Just trying to get some form of uh, uh, stalled time. Close. Meters are ticking. They're getting partially split by the Winston here. Garbo goes down. They're trying to force through this window here just to get a little bit of a pick, but no picks come through. Derek Axe is the only one. Oh, Bubbles manages to get two, three, three with the ulti. The window, the lamp goes down. He's still holding here solo on this point. Man on a mission, trying to keep up. Here, Wraith for him, invulnerable for only a little bit. The enemy Winston getting pretty low. He's, his ulti runs out. He's unable to keep them off the cart, and that'll be three and a stall right there on this third point. They still have a minute on the clock. They've got some time to hold this, and plenty of ults were used. Garbo still manages to have that monkey rage coming up. It's still set on the clock. As for them, no other ultis are available right now. During that last fight, I believe it was a Cassidy ult and a Winston ult were used on the attacking side. Uh, and aside from that, maybe a window that I didn't quite catch, but I believe that should be Kiriko and Sojourn ult should be ready for the attackers. So let's see how this goes. The Winston jumps off to the left side, catching out Gavin for a couple seconds, but Bubbles is right there on the case, trying to keep him pressured. Has to Wraith out from that high level of damage coming through. Almost a pick. Huge pick from Garbo, managing to get that Sojourn down. Another, they're just going to keep pressing W, trying to get as much value onto this. Kiriko no Suzu, getting quite a bit of pressure still. Kiriko going to have to go down quick here. Doesn't have a TP, and that's the only person who survives this fight is the enemy Winston. Wonderful work, and they still have... 13 seconds to go. They're going to be on a quite a bit of stagger here. Just looking for a touch. Seeing as the Kiriko died so late, they won't be able to get a full regroup. Five seconds on the clock. 101.3 meters. The Winston jumps in. Immediately, Bubbles goes for the follow-up. Derek Axe managing to use the Suzu, but he goes down to the Cassidy. He'll unable to time it in time to get himself. The Lucio beat comes through. It's huge. Huge picks onto the uh, enemy Winston. He does go down to the Cassidy, but that's a tank for tank. Lucio managing to hold a little bit, and they might be able to push it in overtime here, unless Derek Axe is able to touch and hold up for a couple more seconds. Does go down rather quickly, and I believe that will be a full push for the attacking side, but forced into overtime. Let's we'll see how this goes in round two. Now, on the attacking side, I'm still expecting a, uh, well, what's the word that I'm looking for? I'm expecting a Widow uh, here for this first point. Um, I'm expecting a, maybe a Bap, definitely a Kiriko. I'm thinking a Zenyatta rather than a Baptiste. I'm expecting Zenyatta, Kiriko, uh, just to have that range pressure and Kiriko to be able to dive just in case there's a Winston. You know, I'm expecting a little bit of a Winston here out of the gates. Uh, seeing as Sigma is a very common pick for the defending side and unable to deal with a dive very well other than having that rock. We'll see how it goes. The Kiriko as I anticipated. Wow, full dive. Full dive. Lucio Kiriko, which is going to be interesting, especially with Bubbles being relatively well known for his uh, Genji gameplay here. I'm excited for it. Now, Cash has been rather excited to play quite a bit of Lucio here. 
and he has been claiming that his uh, redditing skills have increased as of late. So I want to see him getting a little bit of backline pressure as well as healing up his, his teammates. I want to see him putting in some serious scare tactics onto that enemy Widow. See, you guys, we did do a little bit of that in comp today. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see what Cash does here. Uh, aside from that, I definitely want to see Bubbles' Genji. And I we always know that uh, uh, Gavin's uh, Soldier is, is legendary for the team. It, he's got so many montage clips. It's it's gonna be hilarious when the entirety of it is like 90% him. <laughs> now the first push comes through. It's slightly uh, split pushed. Lucio not gonna go in. He's going to hold on to that cart. Kiriko managing to keep everyone alive here on this front line. Still putting quite a bit of high ground pressure in. The Winston still putting in quite a bit of damage. There's a huge pick on Gavin as we expected. He's a little bit low here, but it doesn't matter. The Winston goes down. Garbo unable to stay alive as he has to go and, uh, Derekax has to go and pocket the Sojourn for a couple more seconds just to get him alive. And that is going to be a reset. Let's see if Lucio can get out. He does manage to grab the health pack, and he does manage to get out here. That's a, a full reset, but they do have faster respawn time, so hopefully this will be before the defenders manage to fully reset on their part. Cash getting digged up. He's kind of low, half HP. Doesn't get hit by the rock, which is good. Meaning that he isn't able to use that rock to keep uh, the monkey out of their face. Who's putting in quite a bit of pressure. The amp comes out. The anti-field. This is a intense fight, to say the least. Now the Kiriko ult comes out. Cassidy ult comes out. They, they're for Suzu. They're just going to wait it out for a bit. Finally used, canceled up. The Winston being shoved into that front line. Almost gets the Cassidy. Cassidy 1 HP. He goes down. He has his ulti just in case he gets too low. Looking for this pick onto this Baptiste. The lamp comes out. The lamp goes down. All that's left is a Kiriko off to the side. Who TPs over to the Sigma who hasn't gone down just yet. He's been pressuring on this front line. He's the only one remaining as the rest of his team fall. And that's a successful push here on this first point. Two minutes on the clock. Unlike the attackers from last round who were forced over into overtime. So an additional 2 minutes, 30 seconds is going to be added on top of this. That's quite a bit of time for the second point, especially with the dive comp. Good with those corners, good with that pressure. Widow still here on the defending side. Pushing off to this left side to just get a little bit of roundabout pressure. Making sure to go and keep their attention split between two angles. Means that they got to fight two different fronts. Never going to be doing... Now, Widow being forced really far into that back line. Garbo looking for pressure. Huge damage. Gets the pick almost immediately. That monkey's pressure is insane here. He does go down. The lamp's forced, though, on the attacking side. So the soldier putting in quite a bit of pressure. 1 HP. He does manage to get the pick. That is pretty huge. A support for a tank. A support and a DPS for a tank. Make that 2 DPS. Let's see if he can keep it going. Gavin with another. Nothing less was expected. As they finally clear up. Reaper comes out for this third point, anticipating that they're unable to hold the second. Gavin going for this high ground, top left. Garbo already reset. I don't think they're going to contest this. There is a chance, though. Left side. It is a little bit of a contest, but instead they choose not to because the Kirikul is popped, which is not advantageous. Garbo does go down, but they have close spawn. Derek X <laughs> trades. They are going to be forced to reset here, but the reset timer is quite close, seeing as that defender spawn or attacker spawn is very close to the cart at this current time, especially just getting through these gates on this third point. Four minutes, 26 seconds on the clock. 11 meters from that third point are come through. The disrupt comes through, forcing the lamp. The lamp goes down. Nothing but damage coming through on this high ground. The Baptiste goes to half HP. One HP goes down. That's immediately a one fight. With only one ult popped. Almost a stagger on the Winston. The Kiriko for Suzu. But that is a stagger on her part. A double stagger for both. They're going to be taking quite a bit of time to respawn here. Meaning that they are more than likely going to be having to pop unnecessary ultis. Garbo goes pretty low. Doesn't go down because the Suzu saves him. And that's another huge pick. These respawn timers are going to get longer and longer. But the Mercy comes out for the quick res. Manages to get quite a bit of value here. But it is being forced early on in the fight. Quite a few ults prepared. Gavin looks for his. He gets blossomed. That's two ultis used on the defender side. And it looks like it's going to be a reset for the attackers here. No major losses. Except for one ulti used on Gavin's part. 
after being for uh, before being forced out. Now, quite a bit of time on the clock, 3 minutes, 22 seconds. Which should be enough to get some serious distance in, hopefully force that overtime, if they absolutely need to, saving ulties up for this next push. Bubbles has his ulti ready. I'm excited. I'm going to keep a view on him because I want to see how he does here. He's going to be looking for quite a bit of backline pressure. Hopefully getting on quite a bit of pressure to have Mercy. The Suzu popped early. Gets the Mercy. Gets stuck. Still alive, though. He does go down after the first pick, but the second comes through. They have no supports here on this defending side. Garbo managed to keep alive. The TP comes through from Derek Axe. He ultis this. Just going to get a little bit more pressure forward. The, McCree the Cassidy goes down. The Suzu... Kiriko left alone, being pocketed by the other support, but they both make it out alive. Three on cart here, trying to get as much distance as possible, almost able to cap. Monkey in the back line. The Suzu forced, but they have more ultis to compare. The Mercy left, one HP, immediately focused down. Bubbles on the Reaper here for this third point, almost able to get the Cassidy, gets the Cassidy. All that's left on point is the Winston. Oh, Winston's already down. Reaper and uh, Kiriko are the only ones left. Kiriko 1 HP, Kiriko goes down, Reaper here, half HP, gets the pick, Winston using his ult here, he's half, he's gonna be burned quickly, the Mercy gets the res though, the Winston goes down, oh he's close, he's 1 HP, the Wraith has popped on Bubbles part, just to be able to get out of combat here for a couple more seconds, Kiriko being forced to use Osuzu, gonna have it up for a couple more seconds, Garbo on the other side, Cart unable to get that healing through, the Cassidy ult, and looks like it's going to be a reset here. Quite a few ults popped on both sides, but Gavin has his overclock prepared. Bubbles almost has his death blossom. That's both DPS ults almost ready. So we'll see how this next fight goes. Now, I'm expecting a Valkyrie from the Mercy to be prepared on the defending side. Maybe a death blossom if they hadn't popped it last fight. They did pop a Cassidy ult. They did pop... I believe Kiriko ult. The, this brawl on the high ground going to be quite important just to get that, that spacing. Our coach tries to pressure it into our heads at all possible opportunities. But they're going to be forced to reset. Now the Death Blossom is prepared here looking to quickly get out to this high ground. Derek Axe has his ulti as well. The enemy Reaper has TP'd up, has to be Wraithed early. He doesn't have that invulnerability for this next section of the fight. The Winston up on the high ground, he's looking for it. Traded, same mind, great mind, think alike, but there is a difference between these two Reapers, and it's very clear how much skill has been put in. Now the Winston is using his ulti here to try and keep them off of cart so that they don't get any more distance, but he's going to be heavily damaged. Dare I say burned as he goes down rather quickly. They won't have a tank for this next section of the fight. The May is going to come out looking to be able to ice block on point, which she does. The Mercy is going to be focused down because she doesn't have any survivability in this moment. Tracer comes out with these stall picks. Very important for the defenders if they want to be able to hold this up. Because if they cap here, that will be game. I might be lying though. It was in overtime, so it completely depends. I believe that might be a minute on the clock, but it is overtime to overtime. As the ball goes down, Mercy unable to touch. Round two complete. That's double overtime, so it's really a matter of distance here in this next upcoming round. Three to three. Equal distance, equal time. This is a close match, folks. Oh, overtime, not over yet. Okay, let's see how it goes. I'm expecting the comps to be the same. They keep the Reaper for this first point on the defending side, which ought to be interesting. A little bit of uh, brawliness to the dive. The Winston is something that I might have anticipated. Last season, we did quite a bit of dive defense, so this ought to be interesting to see it come back here once again. Setting up on this high ground, necessary positioning, but they aren't going to have much poke, meaning that they are going to have to wait a decent amount of time for that cart to get in close range for them to be able to drop on it. Otherwise... Quite a bit of damage is going to come out from either side, so they really have to be careful here. Especially if the enemy runs a Sigma and a Widow, it could be quite a bit of poke pressure, and they don't want to be taking that. They want to be taking these fights head-on, 
quickly and efficiently. They don't want to be taking these long extended fights. If they have a Sigma, that's exactly what the attackers are looking to do here. Oh, who is it? Who is it going to be? A couple more seconds till they become visible on the comp. Sigma, as I anticipated. Ana. Widow. No, no Widow. No Widow. Hanzo and Bastion. They're looking for Shield Burn because they anticipated there being a, a Sigma to go through. But instead, we got a Winston on it. He manages to stay up. The Reaper manages to barely catch Wraith. I believe he had gotten rocked earlier. Cash able to barely stay up, managing to duel this enemy tank as though he's playing DPS. <laughs> yep, there we go. That's the first hold, exactly as we expected. Immediately, the cart comes up to that choke point and the defenders are able to drop on top of it. The Tracer being forced to recall early still goes in as it is overtime. The Ana being booped off, half HP, one HP. Stays up for a couple more seconds. The Winston comes out. The Mercy looking for a res here. But goes down, that's both supports down, DPS down, all that's left is the Winston, which also goes down. Tracer is the only one remaining, and she immediately is gone. That is a hold here at the 43 meter mark. Now, all the CCSU has to do is get that cart to the same position, and they win this map. If they don't, we'll go on to the next. And I believe it'll be our pick should that happen. But hopefully it won't. Now I'm expecting Genji. I'm expecting I'm expecting a harsh dive here. As they don't want to poke for too long, especially with only a minute on the clock. It may seem like a lot of time, but it really never feels like it. Sojourn, Reaper. Yep, Kiriko, Lucio, and the Winston, as we had said. Now, this is going to be a pretty harsh dive here. The Sojourn is going to be looking to go in with the Lucio and the uh, uh, Winston. The Reaper is going to be staying more than likely on low ground unless he's able to TP up quickly. He's going to be looking to chunk out whatever tanks are remaining and possibly the supports. Or just pull attention away from the supports so that they aren't able to heal the rest of their team. Both of those equally valuable these, these days. 10 seconds... See how it goes, people. Winston on the enemy team. Huge picking the Reaper into the Winston, but they had the same idea. They do have... Oh, Garbo goes in alone here. He's pretty low. He manages to barely stay up. The amp used. They're also looking to defend underneath this, but they might need to defend a little bit more aggressively. Cash really wants that Zen, but luckily Gavin's able to get it first. Quite a bit of pressure being put through. The Amp used, the Suzu used, quite a bit of survivability. The Reaper is going to half HP, forced to Wraith. The enemy Winston goes down. The Reaper is the only one left on cart here for a couple more seconds. Huge, the Bat goes down, and that will be map for CCSU. Wait. And I believe that's game. That's, that's game. 3 0. Yeah. Wonderful to hear it. You can hear it almost through the door how excited everyone is out there. That'll be game. First round of playoffs. Take a take a dub. I'm happy to hear it. Let's see if we can get people in here. No. Three on. Yo. How it is? We know how it is. Yes, sir. All right. How are you feeling? All right. We, you know, not saying anything. Let's, let's. Beat them before. I, sure. I just want to sit and just say one thing. Awesome. Not that, but. I was never nervous. We had it in the bag. The whole, bag. Everything I said earlier, forget oh, about it. Nervous it. Earlier. Not a sweat was broken. We were just that good. Let's go. Let, let's put on the cam. Let's see how we doing. Yo, Carrots and chat. Carrots and chat. There we go. Carrots and chat. Yeah. Carrots and chat. chat. Carrots and chat. Yeah, Carrots and chat. Hold on. He is. Let's go. Let's go. We won. We won three zero. Just like last time. 
So, Neil, that's true. We did yeah. lose this Penn State. This is yep. last right. semester. Yep. Oh, hi, I'm here. Yeah. Uh, last semester, we also <laughs> beat there, Penn State uh, 3-0. So uh, we're making a pattern here. We're gaming. We're making a we're making a pattern yeah. here. No, get more people in the picture. Get more people also, in the picture. Come also, on. Also, Among Us. We don't have kind of. We didn't yeah, even we bring it. Forgot mine. We, ah, yeah. Yeah. we only had one. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know what? We didn't. We know that what? We too much wow. power. We didn't win because of the Among Us. We won because I had Eurobeat going. That's true. That's true. <laughs> course, we also showed playlist. You know what? I was doing was thing. The montage was going to be just running in the nineties. Gas, 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 gas. All right, I like that. Better choice. Better choice. Better choice. Especially with Lucy. All right, wait, wait, wait. Big Boss. Oh, come on, come on. There he is. Big Boss himself. Oh wait, hold. Let's let's shrink down your tall best. If only we knew how to be tall. Too tall. There you go. That's how we feel. <laughs> how you doing? How's the doing? Great. That's what's so up. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do we right. got? And uh, we got yeah, yeah, in the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, just, just keep in mind. This, this is start. That's a good start. This is no, we the going. first time that we have, as an organization, mm -hmm. gone back to back with the team. Oh, the playoffs. Yeah, the playoffs. Yeah. That's, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Like that. Like that. Like that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully we'll go into next round. We'll see what, what's going on with that, and I'm excited for it. That'll be next Wednesday, correct? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Next schedule. Wednesday, second match of playoff. Yeah. You win, same bad, win those. same bad channel. All right, great. Thanks, y'all, for coming. We appreciate you watching. Yeah. 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 CCSU, and I'm glad to say. Yeah, another win. All right. I'm going to send this back to the spot. <laughs> Good night. All right. You want to know what's funny? I will say. I, I just want to say this for the stream right before we ended. Right before we had our match today, I said to everyone, "Let us beat them quickly so we can all go home and sleep." And we did exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> Can confirm. I said that. I said let's beat them quickly so we could go home and sleep because I am tired, but also hyped. I don't know how to deal with these sorry. emotions. You don't have to, sorry. <laughs> this is this is the way you normally act. This is this, this is how I normally act. Yeah. This, this is, is me. This is how I met you. That this energy, yeah. You, you want to tell the team that that story? No, I do not. <laughs> I do you want to tell that story? Yeah. But, you know, it was, I mean, it, it's it was a great production. No, it wasn't. <laughs> you jumped out of a room with knives, doing karate moves like it was a Power Rangers. That's the greatest.